previously on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Here, have some Omnoms. Omnoms. Omnom. Omnoms. Eat. And then the adventure continues. Okay, I want to use the waiting boots really quickly so we can grab these notes down here. Rabbit's got a jiggy. Nur, nur, nur. Is he trying to call me a nerd? Because someone should inform him that I actually take that as a compliment. Oh well, I have uh, other things to do that involve not messing with him. Actually, you know what? Let's mess with him. Why not? You can actually show off the uh, speedy shoes now, because we haven't actually haven't showed these off yet. So let's show them off. Look at how fast we can go. We're so fast, we can grab this Jiggy of yours. No, I've had that a thousand years! Well done, mortal. Okay. He could easily try to kill us, but... Mm. I guess he's one of those hands that's like, you know what? This bear's got a lot of jiggy so far. He's obviously determined. I don't like the witch anyway. Might as well just let him have it. Which is honestly a good philosophy to have. But first, we have to use the shoes again. Because we have another time puzzle here. Have to make it to the very top of this pyramid before that door closes. There are notes across this uh, giant slope and this giant run, but um, honestly, it might be better to try to avoid them if like you miss a note entirely, because I mean they're still gonna be there when you uh, come back. So yeah, I'll just grab that other note later because we have more stuff to do. Uh, first off. There's a mumbo token somewhere. There it is. And then there's also a jiggy down here. This jiggy will open the door, which will also cause the water to drain out. And fill the pool in the center, which is actually a good thing, because if you uh, go in the center there without the water, I believe you automatically die. So it's good that we kind of have that out of our way now. We can actually go back to doing stuff again. Okay. Well, let us leave. And we have to grab that note really quick, too. I haven't forgotten about that. There's a lot of stuff I'm just, like, leaving around to get later. I didn't even realize that until now. Uh, it kind of sucks that I missed the very last note. Which means I was so close to not having to do this again, but... Yeah, you snooze, you lose, I guess. And uh, I'll grab the one-up, too, just for good measure. Uh, now I think we can actually go to the middle now. And I really need to get some help before I die, because I really don't want to die when I'm this far in. Because this is actually the point of the level where it's like, okay, you did a lot of stuff to get here. Dying would not be something good. Especially because there's a few other things we have to do before we're clear and out of the woods. Okay, well you have some health. Hey, cool, one of those dog faces again. Hey, you learned how to move. I didn't teach you how to move, I only taught you how to eat. Okay, looks like we have to feed all these dogs. Didn't I feed you enough in the temple? Especially after all those different runs I had to do, because I kept falling. 
Because honestly, you should not be hungry. After all the food I've given to you and provided for you, this is how you repay me? By asking for more? Okay, well that actually unlocks this uh, other pyramid up here. But before we go there, let's uh, check the water because I believe we have some notes down here too. Also the blue ginger. Okay, Mumbo Token, and... Okay, I think that's actually it. Yes, it is, okay. Well, we'll swim back up, and uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do that thing in the middle, since we just unlocked it. Uh, before we do, though... Mumbo Token. Okay, remember what I said in the swamp level about mazes? Here's number two! And this one's the only dangerous maze because this is the only one that's timed. And there's actually uh, two things you have to do in this maze before your time's up. Oh, there, I actually made it to the end very, very quickly. But we need to go back in, so, um... I'll grab this first, I guess. <clears throat> and that's not the only one. Because there is a Jinjo here. Okay, we only have three more, and uh, I have a pretty good idea where they all are, too, so that's great. First, though, we have to uh, do one more thing in here. Okay, that's the witch switch. And with that, we are actually done, so we can get out of here now. This music is actually really stressful. It's like... And it gets faster, like, the closer you are to the end. And the... well, the... closer you are to your time being up, rather, so... That can really stress you out, believe it or not. But yes, there we go, that temple is finished. And, uh, well, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go find our good friend Gobi. He said he was going to go someplace to cool down. And I have a pretty good idea what that place might be. He might actually have a good idea to help our good friend Trunker, too. Oh, look, he is. He's down here where Trunker is. Okay, come on, friends. Let's do this. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. You're a frickin' jerk. DIE! Or, that works too. Oh, lovely water. Trunker feels great. Please, guys, no Viagra jokes, please. And yes, there we go. Jiggy number eight. That is eight, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Because I have to pick up that one jiggy, too, so... We're right on schedule. 
I would have grabbed this one last, but we have to do one more thing with Gobi before we leave, so... Yeah, we're not done with him yet. That really is just a really jerky thing for him to say. I need all the water for myself, because blah 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 blah. Okay, so there's a Jiggy right there. Next we have to grab a honeycomb piece. Because we made one appear in that cactus over here. This can be a little tricky, but um, just be very careful and just uh, do your best to fly in the middle. And yeah, see? Not that bad. Okay, let's find Gobi. There he is. I see him. This is for my good friend Trunker! Buh! That's it! I'm leaving this desert to find some place and quiet. Ugh. Whatever. Go away. You were a jerk to my friend Trunker, and you will pay the price of being a jerk to Trunker. Honestly, I really don't care about Trunker either, but still. He was a jerk, and he needs to pay the price. Now that we've gotten that, we uh, are almost done here. Just one more thing, and this is actually what you need the uh, Beak Bomb for. Probably noticed this uh, Kazooie statue right here. It's a nice little target on it. This doesn't take a genius. Or maybe it does, who knows. Okay, I believe these, these are the last of the notes, too, so... We did come full circle here. Hi, Mumbo. Still hiding your tokens in very weird places, I see. Okay, let's talk to you. Hello, my friend. I am Rupee. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? What? Hey, there is some up there. Okay. Well, we have a little, uh, bowl here. Let's see if we can, uh... Ooh, hello, snakey. Ah! A thousand thanks, my friend. Histup will now help you with your quest. Okay. Thank you, Histup. You're a good snake. See, this proves that snakes can be helpful. Okay, well that's going to do it for Gobi's Valley. I believe we've gotten everything, so... Yeah, let's get out of here. Then we can go back to uh, Freeze Easy Peak, we can uh, get the last uh, stuff we need there, and then we can uh, finish that up. And uh, I think I'm probably going to end the recording there. I think it's actually kind of good, doing three worlds per recording session. That seems pretty good. Okay, um, yeah, we need to make our way back to, uh, Freeze Easy. Thankfully, Freeze Easy isn't too far. Yeah, I actually don't know what would be faster. Because you do have to technically go to this room over here anyway, so you can unlock Gobi's Valley. And I don't know, like, it almost seems like just going in and get the move won't be that fast, so... I don't know what would be faster, it's kind of hard to say. Well, nonetheless, let's go ahead and continue here. Because we can actually do this, uh, overworld jiggy, too. Actually, I think I forgot the overworld jiggy in the other room with, uh, Kobe's Valley, so I'll have to go back and grab that before I end the video. 
I don't know how I forgot about it. It's right there. I guess I'm just being stupid again. So yes, it's another race against time, as you might expect. This race isn't too bad, though. As long as you jump in the right direction, you should be fine. And yes, even if you uh, fly as the uh, pad is breaking, you'll still be okay. So let's fly through this hole up here, and... Then we can grab the jiggy at the top of this uh, little... Uh, what is this? It's supposed to be like a giant present or something, or probably a Christmas decoration. You know how people have like all those mur murals of like Christmas ornaments and everything. That's probably what that is. But yes, we have another jiggy to get, so let us do that very quickly. Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Bucky? Press A to accept or B to chicken out. A. You lost to a walrus earlier, so don't even get me started. Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Same rules as before. And yeah, let's go. So yeah, no matter what, he does get a lead at you at the very beginning, but that does not last very long. Honestly, this is pretty much just like the first race we did. It's the same track and everything. Only difference is you have to be a little more careful because I believe uh, the running shoes uh, aren't as uh, terrainable as the... Uh, terrainable is even a word, but they don't traverse the terrain as well as the uh, sled does. Also, you can easily miss that uh, salon if you're not careful. But, yeah, it's still not too bad, the shoes. Oh, no, 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 no! What the hell? Okay, well, I lost that race due to some stupidness, but... Okay, well, let's try this again. I didn't die, did I? Okay, no. If you actually died from that, that would be, like, really stupid. There are some games that do that. If you fail, you die. Frickin' Super Mario Galaxy, anyone? That stupid spooky speedster race? I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, I can understand the Cosmic Mario race is killing you if you lose, because it's a freaking evil version of Mario, but... I mean, Spooky Speedster didn't seem like that much of an evil person. He was just like, oh, you lost, and that's basically it. Like, he actually had some pretty nice words and encouragement, like, after you beat him, or after he beat you. It's not like he was like, you lost, so I kill you. Oh, there we go again, questioning video game logic. Hey, I haven't used that for a while. Video game logic! I almost freaking fell off again. Oh, thank god I won that. Though I've lost again. Take my other medal, I'm off to look for my kid's presence. Yeah, about time. By the way, we destroyed your Father of the Year award, too. Because we found those presents for your kids already. Okay, well, there we go. Freeze Easy Peak is done. And, uh, I think that's actually going to be it for this session. I'll go ahead and keep talking as I make my way to the, uh, jiggy I need to get that I forgot about. I think I forgot about it. Hold on. I can't tell. Yeah, I forgot about it. Okay. Well, um... So, yeah, after we uh, get that Jiggy, we'll be at, um... What's definitely considered to be the hardest part of the game. 
because that's when like uh, the levels become really long and uh, really open-ended with like a lot of the notes being in very uh, spread out locations because as you know the notes have been pretty close to each other so throughout this early part of the game but yeah things start to really become difficult there's a lot of uh, easy killable locations I guess you could say so yeah, you really gotta be careful at this point in the game. But it's also probably one of the more fun parts of the game, too. I really like this part of the game as well. Not so much World 8, but World 7's fun, and I always like doing World 9, despite how hard it is. So yeah, looking forward to that, and after that, this game should be over, so... Another quick project for Slim Kirby, I guess you could say. But there we go, we grabbed that jiggy, and I'm probably gonna end the video here. So this has been... Slim Kirby, this has been Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I will see you guys next time. Later, folks.